introducing the very old Vinamic Dune Tracker, um, the uh, little toy that promised a lot and didn't really deliver. Uh, what this car really needed is a uh, little light, first of all. So you can play in the dark, because it's winter time, it's usually pretty dark. Unless you're playing on sand dunes, in which case, uh, you know, it's pretty sandy where you are. Uh, first thing you need to do to this thing is put an on off switch on the back. Super awesome. Really, really simple to do. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that. Well, we're not really going to show you how to do that, but we're going to show you how we did that. And the flashlight's pretty self explanatory. You just get the clip and put it on backwards. That's nice, huh? Uh huh. Um, the battery's a different story because it's kind of soldered into a circuit board that controls everything. Um, think, like, you know, it's not as simple as just reaching over the counter and grabbing, like, one of these guys and, and just calling it a day. Okay, just more voltage and more amperage and you're just having a better time it's just it, it, it's soldered in pretty tight so um we're gonna go on with this guy though no, we're just gonna show you what we did. this is just a micro switch from a broken rc car which you're probably likely to have laying around and it's just good to salvage parts every now and then next thing you're gonna want to do is take out the three screws that hold it together and we're gonna want to take out this spring plate Okay, once you get all the screws undone, it's like a clamshell, it's pretty tight. And you're just going to want to squeeze and pull apart. So what we did was, we just took two wires and we unshielded them. Soldered them on to an on-off switch. And uh, the little plate in here, there will be, there was a tab that popped through here. You just unbend it, push it through, take the plate out cut it so that there's a gap now and it's not making contact anymore in there so that instead of it just going here now it goes through the switch just uh it'll just save you some battery life because they're just like hey take the batteries out of the controller every time you're done using it and also um on this version of of this toy which is super super awesome See that? There's a, a hole for a screw. So you gotta bring your screwdriver every time you wanna play with your toy. Um, come on. <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah, so looking at the front side of the controller, the little joysticks, all they are is basically little teeter totters when you pop them in like that. And then either toggle the switch on or it'll toggle that switch on. There's really no magic to it. Um, the reason why you can't really play with the toy farther than, uh, I don't know, you could throw like a cotton ball. Like, I don't know, you really can't play f like it. Uh, when we played with it in the, in the famous driveway that we're gonna have soon, like it's gonna be famous one day, uh, it, barely made it to the red truck, which was very sad. Like, the red truck is, like, barely at the tractor. Barely past tractor, which is maybe 15 feet away. So, uh, we're going to give it the old uh, holy nail treatment. And we're going to show you that, too. Now, what you want to do is unsheath part of the antenna wire. That's going to help you already. And then you're going to want to get yourself a nail, and you see the little lump? You're going to want to put just a little boop, half moon in there, and then wrap some of the wire around the nail, and then cut the length because it's not going to fit all the way in. And you're going to want it on the back side of the controller, not on the front side because all the action's going on here. Okay? Okay, so once you've got her screwed up and back together she's going to be uh, horrifying to look at you're going to have a new switch in the back um, the little nip's going to be sticking up the top 
Um, if you want to get creative, you can get a Sharpie and maybe color it any color you'd like. Maybe yellow, bright yellow. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, we're not really going to demo it because, you know, what is there to demo? It's just a, it's just a bib bob. Oh, is that, is that thing even on? Oh, let's... Oh man, full effect here. Full effect. We don't know what we're doing. Is it on? Oh, we have her in the off C position. Uh, hopefully the audience heard the convincing tick. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I, I'm crap at this doing this one-handed, but uh, yeah, you, you get the you get the gist of it. It's 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 getting better by the day now because uh, we're on top of things, and uh, also at this point you can't take it back to the store. That's also worth noting. Because uh, we totally, uh, we, we ruin things for people here on this channel. And we are not responsible for anything uh, <laughs> you break along the way. Or if you try this, do not try this at home. Um, um, also, uh, sweet dreams. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just uh, sometimes just thinking it's better makes it better. And don't waste your too much time on this.